Do you want to grind YouTube shorts? Do you want to hijack the minds of literal infants? Do you want to put a stop to slaving away at the computer for a YouTube short that will perform horribly? With that, I can tell you, you came to the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to make YouTube shorts with minimum effort and minimum dignity. But before I start, I must ask two things of you. First, you see this thing right here? You see this? Throw it away. It's not good. Icky. Bad. Bad. It's holding you back. You see the content we'll be making, I'll put it as, it's not really exceptional. What do you think this is? Finzar? What do you, you think we're gonna win an Oscar here? You see, the trick is through all of this to keep telling yourself that what you're doing, you're doing it out of irony. You see, how can you mean to do anything if you don't mean to do anything at all? Let me ask you this question. Is it shameless to download one hour compilation Family Guy funny moments? One hour Subway Surfers gameplay clips? One hour oddly satisfying clips and then stack them on top of each other like Jenga? Split it into 100 different pieces and then upload onto YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels? No. No, no. You see, we can cover it with so many layers of irony, the content becomes untouchable. As long as we add emojis from Ohio and add like the occasional vine boom sound effect, then we are making brain rot sludge out of irony. The second thing I'll ask from you that will kind of like condescend like everything I just said is use your long form content. Now I know it will be tempting you see something like try not to laugh funny family guy moments 347.5. It is very very tempting to make the same type of content but trust me it will be more beneficial to use these shorts martial arts to build up the content that really matters. And plus I have a sneaky little trick to help us along the way. Forget a little of this, right? Here we have Aziz the name out of context for four minutes and 30 seconds. Since it's out of context, this is fast food content. Content doesn't really matter. So when we're gonna cut this up into millions of pieces and then just paste them onto the YouTube shorts just like that, it won't really matter. You can't download it because you don't have YouTube Premium like me. You can just go YT MP4 and go on these like really shady websites to download it. And it might work. After you download it, you want to go over to TikTok. Tickety tocky tick. And you want to go to upload. And after you got it uploaded, hold your horses. You want to use this thing called split your thing into multiple parts to get more exposure. I suggest using 30 second clips, but you can use like 15 second clips. You can do 20 second clips. I'm pretty sure the minimum is 15, but I like to see how many seconds are in this. So how many clips that I can uh, split up. We can fit in nine YouTube shorts with this four minute clip. And boom, it already splits it for you. Now, what I highly suggest doing is to uh, watch each clip so you can name it according to like what happens in it. From watching these, I already know what I'm gonna title these. Pretty simple. Instead of Isaiah's to name out context for four minutes, Isaiah's, out, Isaiah's to name out context for 30 seconds. Or just Isaiah's to name out context. One since there's gonna be multiple of these clips. And then we're just gonna put like hashtag, hashtag out of context, hashtag gaming. And after you get done like naming all of them, just hit post. And now that you got them all uploaded, what you wanna do is kind of like the same thing we did for downloading the YouTube video, right? except I have a less shady website. You wanna use sstick.io. I right, copy the link, paste it in there. And then before you press the download without watermark, you wanna, highlight this. So then when it downloads, you can just copy and paste it there and then do that for all the videos. And now after you have them all downloaded, you just re-upload to YouTube Shorts. Or you can do this one thing that might boost the views, boost the retention by adding Subway Surfers clips. What you're gonna do is you wanna go to CapCut.com. You can use their thing for free in the website. It's, it's pretty cool and it intuitive. I already got it set up right there. I got this RTX Subway Surfers. Now, why did I do RTX Subway Surfers? I did RTX Subway Surfers because it gives me the peace of mind that I'm being ironic and not doing this seriously. Now you want to add your video that you want to put in that little box right there. After you download your Subway Surfers clip using the technique I showed you earlier to download YouTube videos. Boom. Your content is at the forefront of this short right here. I mean, look how much space it takes up. That's like 
what, like two inches right there? That's pretty big. Now another trick you wanna do, because Capco just happens to have this, auto captions, look at this. I can have extra stimulation for the mind. I'll admit, it's a little iffy. But hey, for a lazy person like me, it's good enough. And now you wanna resize these and put it up this way because like all the captions and stuff will be down there. And the perfect spot where this white like blinds this out, that's, that's great. I love how you can't see the text. Once it exports, you just hit download. And then remember how I told you to copy and paste this for the file names? It doesn't only like make it easier to sort through them. You can tap on the video and replace it. See, boom replaces it and gives it the file name. And boom, it already titles it with the file name. I suggest adding hashtag shorts, you know, for a little, for a little, uh, whatchamacallit, pizzazz. I also suggest taking these tags, also putting it in the description here. And then this is the sneaky trick I mentioned earlier. What you wanna do is you wanna add related video. Now this is a new feature, it's like a really new feature. Add related video. You wanna link this video to the original video. So if like some brain rot three-year-old's watching, they're like, oh, I like this. They can go to the full entire video by watching it. Now this will look better on a phone, I admit. Right here, you see, I see his name out of context for whatever. So like, let's say your finger slipped or something, or you're like, you're genuinely interested in the content. You can click right here, boom, you to the full video. It's literally like free advertisement that you're doing right here. And you just do that for every single YouTube thing. You just keep doing that in CapCut. You can even go on Instagram Reels. I mean, you probably have to link it in the comments, but that is how you grind the YouTube shorts in 2023. See me chasing the bag, I got me a chance, so why would I pass it up? Girl, I ain't coming in last, I'm running the track. I hope that you fast enough. Tell me